What's up, my LS Crazy Amigos? My LS Crazy Amigos. It's your boy Terry, speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. Yeah, what's up? You know, I put a video out, I guess it was last week, about the T56 transmission. And I got a lot of questions about it. Most of the common asked question that I got about it was, you know, Terry, how do I go about decoding the T56 because I would like to go out and buy a used transmission and um, how would I go about knowing what engine, what con I'm sorry, what car that transmission came up out of. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to go over where I keep my transmission <laughs> and I'm going to show you exactly what numbers you need to look for because there's numbers on the transmission and the certain numbers are important. So let's go on over there and we'll check it out. Let's go. Now this is my T56 transmission, six speed that came out of a 2002 SS Camaro. To decipher what kind of car this came out of, there's a couple of numbers on the transmission that you should be aware of. You got a tag right here, and you have a tag up here. Now this is the metal tag that's on the T56. Uh, it, it has all its information of the transmission. It's kind of hard to see, especially when they're old, they kind of rub off and all that. You gotta get like a steel wire brush and clean it off. And the number right here is, uh, 1386020. Now that number should match the tag that's up here. And if you look, 1386020. This is the main number that we're going to talk about to tell what kind of tr car this transmission came from. Now, I want to give a big shout out to one of my subscribers named Bill. He uh, sent me the link which has a lot more information than the one that I had about these transmissions. Matter of fact, the, if the link that he sent has information about the T56s, the, the Muncie transmissions. It has even the automatic, all the automatic transmissions that GM has ever made. I'm gonna, I'm gonna what's called this link that he sent me, General Motors transmissions. This is like, it's like the Bible for the transmissions. And I'm gonna put this link in my uh, YouTube channel along with the video. But um, let's take a look at it. Now with most T56s, the first digits are one, three, Eight, six. So we're going to concern ourselves with the last three digits. This one is 020. Zero, zero. Now, according to this chart, okay, even gives you see, let's see, 020. All right, that's where I'm at. Okay, 450 foot pounds of torque, 266 on the first gear, 173 on the second, 1.30 for the third. Fourth gear on a T56 is usually a one to one. All right. And then, well, most of the time, it's always a one-to-one, -one. all right? And then you got your 0.74, you got your 0.50, and like I said, a 26-spline input, 27-spline output. That's good information to have because, like, if I do run with this transmission, it'd be nice to know because, like I said, that first gear is a 266. That means that I could put a 410 or even a 433 gear in there. So this is a good, good resource to have, and I want to say thank you. Thank you, Bill, for sending this to me. Much appreciated. And so now that's how you could tell what transmission, or should I say, what car the transmission came out of. At this time, I want to say what's up to David. David, listen, I got those uh, flap discs and those, uh, and those cutoff wheels. My man works at 3M. He sent me a little gift package, wanted me to try them out. They work great, solid. If ever you're in the neighborhood, let me know. Dinner's on me, brother. Appreciate it, all right? And I also want to give a big shout out to Bill to provide that information, which I will be posting on my YouTube uh, channel, you know, so you can pull down uh, that information all about the transmissions, the GM transmissions, transmissions, the history of GM transmissions. It's a good resource to get, so definitely pull it down and print it out and keep it in your garage shop, all right? But I'm looking at the clock on the wall, it's way over there, or should I say ceiling, it's time for me to head on off. Thank you very much again. I really appreciate all the love, all the interest, and everything that's happening here. It's a beautiful thing. And if you got a video that you want to see, and if it's in the budget, <laughs> let me know. And you know how to reach me because I am not a hard brother to find. But for now, it's time for me to head back off and get cracking on this uh, 67 Chevelle, which it don't look like much progress is being made, but there is tons of progress being made. So as always, please, as always, mm, mm, be easy. And I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care. Where are my glasses?